What do you mean that isn't a normal thing to ask for? What do you mean? How is anybody truly supposed to learn this sort of thing if they are not taught? Honestly, I'd hate to say it, but this is truly one of those times where I cannot even begin to comprehend the rest of the student body. My gosh. Well, you, you see, um, well, what if I have a person I want to kiss? Huh? Huh? Smart guy? Smart, uh, ass? Smart ass? You ever think about that? Maybe there's a cute little moffet headed librarian's assistant with big round glasses and a lamp that sounds like sunshine. I'm dying to put the moves on. And you would dare hinder that honest and unbridled expression of true love just because you feel ever so deserving of me for breaking me out of that shell to begin with? Huh? 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 Do, do kids still say that? Putting the moves on or... <sighs> there is no cute little moppet headed librarian's assistant with big round glasses and a laugh that sounds like sunshine. But there could have been! Stay savvy! If anything, I shouldn't have to offer any sort of explanation now! You rejected my premise so outright that the fact I don't bite my thumb at you is the only moniker of respect I dare to leverage at you. I'm beloved. I have the potential to be loved. Don't, don't I? I mean, don't I? <sighs> Fine. There's this writing contest I want to enter. I saw a pamphlet for it in the library. The library where I could have been seeing a cute little moppet head librarian's assistant with big round glasses might remind you. I'm not going to let you off the hook for that. How you say, slam, for quite some time. But, but the prize, the prize. The one for first place? I mean, sure, they offer money. Of course they offer money. But first place for the writing contest? It lands to you a publishing deal. Smack dab in the middle of their magazine. For all the world and their sizable subscriber base to see. I know it's nothing much, really. I mean... In the grand scheme of things, it's not like one story is the difference between a flourishing career and untimely death preceded by disease and poverty and locusts and flames and cancer somehow, but it'll just be me. It'll just be mine. Mine and mine alone, in a way no one else can lay claim to. The same way my father and... Ugh. Russell will always be able to hold on to the name Van Scott. But a published story? A published story inked to paper written by Ramona Van Scott? Who else can lay down the same claim? That they, too, are Ramona Van Scott. Let alone the very same Ramona Van Scott who'd regale such a tale. Besides... It may be the only true chance I have to establish myself as a writer with true merit. Nepotism might exist at this level, sure, but do you really think that my father would take the time out of his day when he's already holding the entire world on his shoulders to make sure that all the little people on it were content with the way it spun? I mean, sure. Russell. 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 Would Russell have been allowed to go to nationals if it didn't look worse for father for him to be disqualified for the allegations of committing to such horseplay as lighting up the Mary Joanna tube on days he should be studying and slipping below a 3.58 grade average? Of course! 
However, father has no concerns like that for someone like me. I'm the good child. The good daughter. The one who learned at his feet to continue his legacy, even if he'll still rip that from me in the name of that same legacy. I don't need the help that Russell does. I need to not be burdened as this cursed sex, but that's only offering under assumption that father wished he had a son. You know, a real son. Uh, did I say something wrong again? I feel like I'm rambling about nothing. I feel like I do that sort of thing a lot, and yet you always listen. I haven't had a clue as to why. Ah, right. My concerns. My... The writing contest. The, the reason for my plight. Now that you understand the stakes just as I do, and why I need to ask you such a thing, please understand. Please, please, please understand as I do. Because that is truly the only reason why I'd ask something like that from someone like... <sighs> the prompt is romance. Or the genre is romance. It's expected to be cute, fluffy, schmaltz. First date, sipping on a milkshake together through the same straw, pretending to stretch so you can wrap your arm around somebody while you're watching a movie, walking the gal to the door. Wholesome. Like you'd see in the movies. I've seen movies. There's no time for bitterness or resentment or madness. No time to peek into the lives of a historical or fantastical aristocracy that relies as much on the political landscape to build worlds and intrigue into cathedrals in my own personal favorite stories. And that completely taps out my knowledge base. I understand hate very well. Very well, in fact. I learned it from just about every person I ever knew. I learned it before I was even taller than their knees. Before I met you. And uh, now I'm asking you to teach me love. I am never bearing my heart to anybody again. This is embarrassing. This is humiliating. And I hate that I just had to say that. And I hate that you made me say it. It's bad enough that I'm even asking for help to begin with, but help like this? It's utterly ridiculous. I wish everyone else was dead except me so I could have the most dramatic self-inflicted death in the entire world. Ugh. <sighs> but I know you. I know your heart. You'd be good to me. You might not even laugh. Look, this is hard enough without having to get into the nitty gritty of it all. Can't you just say no and leave me for the carrion birds to scrounge upon? It's not the actual relationship part I'm having trouble writing. Relationships are really just words anyway. I mean, talking. Nothing and nothing but talking accompanied by the occasional act of grandeur. I mean, what is our relationship if not me just rambling on and on and on and... You listening? 
Instead of writing the words, I would usually write about the complicated family dynamics of a mother being sacrificed or sonified. The daughter she raised would, by association, be killed with no possibility of redress. I'd write different words. Like, your virtue is as pure as the leaves of an oleander. Only Leander leaves her white. I found it to be clever. Okay, so it might always be a little inseparable from me, irreversibly my writing, regrettably my work, but if I can sell it, if I can get people to believe in this relationship, I can get them to see past that. The fact that it's me. The fact that it's always just been me. But to do that, I need to sell the physical aspects. The physical aspects of a romantic relationship. It's not that kind of magazine! I. I resent the implication! I don't write that kind of stuff and I don't read it! I've only ever even kissed one person and that person was you! To think you'd be so crass, I almost regret giving that verse to you, let alone that I grant you any other first, but... <sighs> but, because it's not my first. That means I can do research without guilt. Without the silly girlish qualms of wasting my first guess on a matter so trifle. I need to remember what it was like, though. What it was really like. Without the fireworks, the fanfare, the humiliation, the euphoria, the shame, the pride, the firstness of it all. I remember what it felt like to me, but now I need to be able to take a third person perspective and understand the appeal from there. And despite your clear and obvious perversion, you're really the only person I can ask. But, but, because you proved yourself to be a, a, a dog just now, I, I get to control the kissing this time, in the, in the, you, you know, you, you mostly took charge because I didn't know what was happening, but not this time. This time it's my turn. I get to do it now, however I want, for, for as long as I want, for research, strictly for research, of course, of course. Are, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Right. Right, I have to actually lean in. <laughs> Ready? Right, right. I just... I just... Still, please, and please, 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 close your eyes. I, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this if you keep looking at me. <sighs> hmm. Again. Again? 
Again. 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 I want to. I need to get this right. Again. Yeah. 